if I had an idea for something, I would just do it and send it over rather than play it to Malcolm. And then if he liked it, we'd keep it. If not, we'd work on it. Since we started the band of being professional musicians, I've always felt like I had like six more months left, then I'd have to get a real job. So I think being a musician like that, the worry is constant and you just try and keep creating and doing stuff. Dig us up and hold us high. Raise our carcass to the sky. The only thing that we had to do <laughs> was uh, uh, there was a penis removed and there was uh, some uh, graphic drug taken <laughs> removed. Hey, Malcolm. Hi, how are you? Hello, 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 hello. What sort of room are we looking at? Oh, this is a backdrop. This is a rehearsal room we were practicing. <laughs> Do you both live in Glasgow nowadays? No, I live in the east coast of Scotland. I'm in Glasgow, yes. How do you stay in contact? Usually text message. I think there's about 40 text messages per day. <laughs> and uh, we have a Dropbox that we put things into. We wouldn't be able to have written the, the record if it were not for modern technology. They came in from the country. They were hounded from their homes. They'd always dreamed about the city with its towers and spires and domes. So the dog fox and his vixen vowed to flee their savage fields to a land of hope and glory and the future it could yield. I can imagine that uh, while making a record as a group, it's preferable to be together in a room. No, when we made this last record, it's both me, me and Aidan have our own parts to do. I don't think there's any time we're playing instruments at the same time. So like, even when we're together, we're remote. <laughs> <laughs> For us, we're not proper, we're not like a five-piece band, but like the two of us, us all engineering, so it kind of works well. But the city didn't want the foxes, the city didn't care. The help and hope and heart and heart they dreamed of weren't there. So you know, if I had an idea for something, I would just do it and send it over rather than play it to Malcolm. You know, I would just do it and then if he liked it, we'd keep it. If not, we'd work on it, you know, so it wasn't... Um, I think people probably work better when they're alone. It's kind of the same way we've always, we've always worked though. Like 20 years ago, we were like sending cassette tapes to each other with like guitar parts or drum bits and stuff, and then working on it on our own, then going back and saying, look what I've done. So it's pretty much exactly the same, except there's, we don't have to use actual post, we just use computers. It's called As Days Get Dark. When I saw the title, it made me first think of Corona and what happened in the United States. It's, it's a line from the last song. It's about uh, nighttime, but it's also about uh, what, what people turn to when they, they want to escape. It's about uh, desperation and what people do in the in the cover of nighttime. So um, it seemed to be the, the obvious title. I mean, sometimes the, the simplest ones are the best. I had some rubbish ideas about, uh, that were quotes from people and went, that wasn't really part of the record, but it turns out the answer was in the last song. We really have to talk about the two video clips. Especially here comes Combs. What? Did you have any say in the construction of this video? Yeah, we just said don't have any penises to letterbox. <laughs> It was, uh, yeah, the only thing that we had to do <laughs> was uh, uh, there was a penis removed and there was uh, some uh, graphic drug taken <laughs> removed. But, uh, that was all we asked uh, because YouTube wouldn't have shown it, they wouldn't post it uh, the way it was. But, um, when it comes to videos, if you're going to ask someone to do a video, I don't really see the point in telling them what to do. It's like, you know, you just need to trust people to do what they, what they want. Just take a step, just take a head. You can't refuse the fuse as well. You know you want to let and lead your soul astray. 
Now, Malcolm, does this open up your mind while watching your music? Because when you're experimenting with scenes and images, the music gets different, I would say. It definitely happens when you put a video to music you've made, it changes the way you hear the music, I think. It gives it a sort of second life for us as well. I mean, as Malcolm said, the song's finished, the work's done when the record's released. But when somebody takes it and, and makes a video for it that you didn't expect, it, it breathes a bit of new life into it. Just take a step, just take a hand You can refuse the fears as well It's not a game you win But how you love to play I think some of the best videos quite often have absolutely nothing to do with the song but they add another dimension to it or they add someone else's interpretation of it, you know? But I think with the Comus video, if someone had tried and they didn't quite get the song or they went in a different direction, it wouldn't have worked. But this time, it doesn't detract from the music at all. It, they both just complement each other. So I think it really works as a, as a music video. Is that the same thing with the turning of our bones? We weren't sure what to do with that one, so we thought we'll just use lots of old zombie films. And uh, we gave it to an editor who, I mean, I gave him some films and I don't think he used any, I think he used a second of what I gave him. We did some research and found some brilliant stuff. We stitched it together to try and have a wee story in, in it as well. I think it turned out really well. I don't give a fuck about the past. A glory days gone by. All I care about right now is that we mole inside your thigh. And my Did you find any problems with YouTube about this one? No, because all the films were public domain and there's no problems about the graphic content because it's quite outdated and old a lot of it's like tomato sauce, paper mache, papier mache, so. The strange thing is with YouTube, violence and gore is, is fine. You know, uh, sex and drugs, absolutely not, but violence is, you know, you can get away with anything. I mean, I still find it bizarre that people are more afraid of sex than they are violence, but that's just, uh, that's just the world that we live in. <laughs> Is this often a topic between the two of you? Sex and violence? No, yeah, well, okay, the effect of sex and violence, the effect of a video, the effect of your music. I don't think we ever, apart from when we're making a song, we don't discuss the effects or what people might think of it or get from it. Just try and have a gut feeling about it. If they know we, we like it and it's got something of merit that's worth releasing, then that's the end of it. Yeah, we never talk about what we're doing at the time. Again, but that's part of the modern technology, I think, because we probably discussed it more uh, the first time round because we couldn't just uh, do what we wanted. You know, we couldn't just realize an idea pretty quickly. So, um, you know, we don't need to discuss anything. We can just do it and see how it sounds. Arab Strap exists 25 years. Yeah, yeah. I also saw from uh, my information, apart from Arab Strap, really? you also released 23 albums as solo artists, which is quite a big number in a restricted area from 2005 until 2019. So highly productive. You need to keep busy. I mean, now as well, because it's so, it's so harder to make uh, money in a, a, a viable, income from uh, just making records. You know, in the old days we would make a record and tour and that would be, it could be two years before we had to do anything else. But now uh, I think you need to plan ahead more and you need to think about the future and, and what's coming in the next two or three years and make sure you've got something booked because, as I say, it's just, you can't rely on one record to make money anymore. You need to keep going, I think. So you need to work harder or make more commercial, better records? Worse record and more commercial. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
I do kind of worry about it, but since we started the band of being professional musicians, I've always felt like I had like six more months left that I'd have to get a real job. So I think being a musician like that, the worry is constant and you just try and keep creating and doing stuff. In the long grass, underneath the sun, I saw you in Tesco with your buttons undone. I saw you hand in hand as we do the school run. I saw you in a mask with a secret someone. I saw you. Well, thank you very much for your time now. Stay healthy and hope to see you in Amsterdam somewhere soon. And you, I stay healthy too, I Cheers, man. Take care. Thank you. Let's not be bashful. Don't be oblique. The flesh is willing.